the guys who was part of that first game back after 9 11 is standing by with Steve Gelb. Steve? That's right, Gary, here with Edgardo Alfonso, one of three teammates, also with Mike Piazza up there today as he got his number retired. And Edgardo, uh, we were just showing some images, first of all, from that game on September 21st, 2001. What do you remember about that night and specifically that home run that Piazza hit? I remember I get on. I get on for him. <laughs> no, I remember the, that was a great game. I mean, we just, we just, um, you know, after everything happened here, uh, we just come, we just come into uh, to uh, Shea Stadium, and and uh, you know, I, at the beginning it was like a, a, a sad moment, you know, for, for for a moment there, and then uh, I remember then then my bat there, I try to do whatever I can to get on base because. Every time we get in that situation, we always want the big guys coming up. So that was my, and then um, I work out on the count. I work out pretty good, wait for, be patient on my, my pitch, and I, I end up to, uh, to get a walk. And then that, that was great. I mean, I, I, watched, I watched that game from, from the dugout. I watched the Maya, Maya bat from the dugout because I, I got a pinch runner for, uh, uh, that's it, Relifer was my, my pinch runner. And then uh, I was so happy. I mean, it was it was a great moment after uh, my hit that ball. It was great. Mike Piazza is known for for coming through in moments like that. Uh, were you at all surprised by him coming through in that particular moment, or, or had he done so many big things in the past that it just seemed like another notch on his belt? No, I think I think uh, I mean like, like I was thinking about it is to to get him in that position. To I can come through to to be the guy because he always I always do that and uh, and uh, he always he's the guy who's coming in the tough situation and that's the guy you want to have in the home play in the tough situation and he did I mean he did that so um, I was so happy he can he can hit the ball out of the ballpark and give you soon uh, New York fans the, the victory I think it was great. Edgardo, what was he like as a teammate? Um, it was a quiet <laughs> quiet guy, but. Um, what I like by Mike is um, he always likes to speak Spanish. He likes to try to speak Spanish, believe it or not. But um, he's, uh, he's a guy who um, you talk to him, he will talk to you. Uh, a superstar as Mike is. Um, you just, you just uh, I mean, every time we come into um, and the airplane, he always sit behind me or in front of me. And he always play with the drums. You know, he got drumstick. He was playing, and I was sleeping in and, and I feel like he playing with, uh, with the drums. And, and and it is fun. I mean, that guy was it was something else. And then um, and then I feel so happy to um, to be in, in the Hall of Fame. And I, I'm so proud to play with Mike and and uh, you know spend time with him. How did he transform that team when he came here in 1998? Big time. I think it was big time. We uh, we were so desperate to uh, to get a big back in the lineup. And I think when he came to uh, New York, it was uh, it was big different in the lineup. But by then, and then um, you know, like I said before. I was believe Mike Piazza coming to the Mets when I see it. So every, everybody was uh, rumor about it, like Mike's coming, Mike's coming. But I would say when I see it, I believe. So he made big impact in New York, and especially our lineup was great. Hey, Gardo, when you and Mike get together and reminisce, and maybe even today when you got together and reminisce, what is the one moment that always seems to come up, the one moment from your Mets time together? Well, we don't have really one we have many many and every time we we just you know we, we just talk about family things about about um, things in Venezuela things in Italy things in New York or whatever stuff like that but um, I was I was we always talk about like when I'm be the guy when when I go to the home play I always want my to be the guy and my say when he missed he want me to be the guy so so you know it's back and forth but I think um, uh, no, the, the relation we have by then it was great. So, so I think it's. Um, I think Mike Mar, Mar is one of the guys that you always you always look up to him, and and he he proved when he came to New York, and now he uh, be in the Hall of Fame, due to the Hall of Fame. Gardo, it was a, a great night and great catching up with you. Great seeing you out here. Thanks for a few minutes. Oh, thank you so much. And uh, it's so hot in here right now. <laughs> Let's try to get through that. All right, go inside, Gary. Let's send it back to you.